World AIDS Day is celebrated every year across the world on 1st of December. It's celebrated to spread awareness about this disease and to remember to uh, those people who lost their lives because of this disease. Good evening everyone. Today I'm going to deliver my lecture on the topic AIDS that is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Now this disease was uh, or this day was initially started in the year 1988 by the World Health Organization to spread awareness about AIDS. Now coming to the theme for the year 2022, the theme was Equalize which was mainly meant to uh, eliminate the disparities or uh, inequalities so that that acts as a barrier in testing and treatment of uh, the people suffering from uh, uh, AIDS disease. Also coming to the um, coming to what is this disease? This disease is an li potentially life-threatening disease which uh, basically destroys the person's uh, immune system or when the virus HIV or the human immunodeficiency virus enters the body it destroys uh, it starts destroying our immune system basically it destroys the cd4 which is a kind of uh, uh, white blood cell called t cell uh, once it enters into the body it starts destroying our uh, cd4 t cells and that uh, eventually just uh, uh, like disbalances the whole uh, um, immune system of the body and the main sources or how it spreads is uh, through blood, body fluid or uh, breast milk and coming to the initial symptoms of this virus, the initial symptoms include uh, sore throat, uh, uh, fever, fatigue and also pneumonia etc. Now, if you look at it from uh, India's perspective, in the year 2021, uh, almost over 2.4 million people were living with HIV in India and out of that, almost 70,000 were uh, the children. Also, um, the government it has taken uh, various steps in this regard. For example, the uh, Sunrise Initiative was taken by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare to tackle HIV, especially in the northeastern state, and uh, if you look at the data, um, almost like the maximum cases of HIV exist in Maharashtra. Second comes Andhra Pradesh, and then Karnataka. And uh, coming to uh, other even a uh, law has been implemented in this regard, which is uh, AIDS and HIV Prevention and Control Act, uh, two thousand seventeen, which uh, focuses on the measures to tackle HIV. And uh, so in the solution, I would say like uh, pre prevention is better than cure and for prevention, it is necessary like some uh, important steps are taken. For example, uh, it is necessary that the protective techniques are used and which also helps in uh, uh, preventing the spread of other sexually transmitted diseases. Then we also need to take care that the mother to child transmission does not happen and the used needles are not used uh, I mean, for the injecting purposes which, which can lead to uh, spread of this uh, virus. Now uh, then comes, uh, it is important that the person who is uh, found to be infected, they are given the proper treatment plan so that uh, it, cannot, it does not spread to other persons. Thank you.